I think when you feed them right away, it helps bring them out of that anesthesia a bit. Yeah, so that's too sleepy to eat, they're not gonna eat. Yeah. Hi guys. Wow, you're getting two updates in a day. And we have our wonderful Barb here, right here. And then we've got um, our wonderful Mary there. Oh, careful, Rami. There you go. Hi, Tom. Um, and she said, of course I sent your message, Miss Barb. What is an active patient? Um, what I mean is she's very active. She's moving around and um, very just very active instead of laying there sleeping. Um, I will say that she does look very good and she is um, favoring her one leg that we know is the problem. Hi Stuart, hi Ryan, hi Selena. Um, she is definitely on some really, really, really great pain meds. I have not gotten an update from Dr. Darcy yet so she will be calling me. I'm going to turn my volume on so I can hear it. Um, she will be calling me. It's definitely a knee issue. Her left knee is the problem. So um, the uh, knee cap is the main issue. So we're going to discuss that and see where she goes. But I'm glad to see that she's comfortable enough to eat and, and be... Active. Too active. Too active. Too active. A little too active. Um, to be active enough. So that means her her pain meds are controlling her, which is wonderful. That's what they're there for, and that's what we want. So uh, she is, as they say, feeling no pain. No, she is not. So she's feeling pretty good. She does, KB. Yep, yeah, we just put um, a blankie and a, a pillow in there. Sometimes she likes to hide underneath um, the blankie. Sometimes she likes to go underneath the entire pillow. Yeah, so the great thing about the kneecap is, and, and I'm just I'm just chatting guys, this isn't from Dr. Darcy or anything, well I mean not really, but um, sometimes it might be able to repair itself over time. So but we'll see what Dr. Darcy ultimately decides, but hopefully we might be able to just keep an eye on her and keep her calm and maybe n miss any surgery at all. So that would be wonderful. That would be the paws crossed. Good boy, Rami. Good boy, Rami. Oh, oh, you're getting the round bed. Oh my. Hi. Oh, oh, he's very excited to be in the round bed. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Rambo Dean. Do you want a mouse, sir? No, I think he was just getting himself situated, I think. He's so cute. Good boy, Rami. Hi. They love those. <coughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm happy so far. She does seem to be getting around, you, you know. I, you know, not not amazing, but she is getting around, so that's awesome. <laughs> what do you got, Rami? Go here to bear. Go to your bear. <coughs> I moved that. He looked like he was wanting to switch to the bear. Um, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ramsey is is wonderful. I love him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right, Stewart. Um, Oh, don't be sorry, Tom. Nope, don't be sorry. I, I might have missed your question. I hope someone 
someone answered. If, if they didn't, like, ask again, Tom, and I, I might have seen it okay. or missed it. Um, oh, is that what Tom was asking? Kim is the cat that came from the vet today. She came home about um, 5, 5.15. So, well, it takes, and sometimes people are here all the time and don't remember the, the cat's names. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not referring to anybody in particular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these two. Oh, lady, what are you doing? What are you doing, dinglings? Oh, come here. Well, oh, come on. Oh, oh, come here. Who's over here? Oh, careful. Hold on. Oh, I'm juggling cats. I'm juggling cats. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you, Tom. Yes, Kim Kitty is doing okay. So we're still waiting for Dr. Darcy to hear her official update, but what about Egypt? Egypt actually doesn't have to be in a pen. He just goes in because he likes it, but um, he's, he's had the past couple nights out, so he'll be okay. He's fine. Um, Ethel is saying, hi, Mary, Barb. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know, yes, they were all attacking me, but it's a good, good attack. So, what you doing, Kim Kitty? She's happy Barb gave her food. Oh, she says, Barb, this is the best food ever. <laughs> She's enjoying very much. Yeah, Spiker needs a, a, a blankie, huh? Yeah. You know, Taz, yeah. I, you know, Egypt has really taken to going to bed in the pen. I think there's just cozy and... Does this happen sometimes with cat snacks? With what? Cat snacks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I know I know exactly who that was too. Okay. Right. <laughs> We're gonna throw this away. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Um, and then I was actually I was gonna tell someone, I heard someone tonight, one of the mods uh had a, a quick question. Someone asked, do our kitties um, get annual uh, physicals here? Yes, they do actually. That is a really um, great question. They do get annual physicals every year. Uh, Dr. Darcy will come out and do a physical on all the kitties. It's a very fun day. So I think she just did it, um, when was that, October? I think October, maybe, right in there. Maybe it was August. It's not too terribly long ago. Um, does the kitty with no back legs that met you, that's magic, Christine, and does he use the litter box? Yes. He's a good boy. Stuart, you are right. Yeah. Um, we try as much as we can to accommodate to all their personal wishes as much as we can. Sometimes I feel like we need way more staffing to accommodate for all their personal wishes, but we try as best we can. Magic is the goodest boy. He's such a sweetheart. I was actually talking to Jackie tonight um, about Magic and remember a few years ago when he had that wound open up on his back, on his, on, on his hind end. Remember that? That was pretty pretty gnarly and how good that healed thank you thank you magic is super duper strong if you ever held him oh my gosh it, the power of his forearms oh he 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 gets you thank you taz spiker is just um he's a doll baby he is such, a, he's so funny. Sometimes, um, Spiker, so he, Spiker has no teeth. I don't know if you guys, if, if you know that or not everybody. Um, Spiker has no teeth, so a lot of times he has this, like, 
he'll stick his tongue out and it's um it's about the cutest thing but he'll look sometimes super gummy do i ever use calming collars on new kitties if they're upset okay so this is my this is my very 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 personal belief at all and so many people love them i haven't personally i don't know that they work now in the industry i mean i'm, I'm on a i'm in a class right now for school what did work? calming collars uh, Jackie used to do it. It, it, so they asked if we use them on um Jackie she did yeah yeah in in the industry like i'm in a class right now and they swear by the the essential oils and and all of that you know the plug-in diffusers the calming collars all we, used to have the we do too. we still use them and everything oh, okay. like that yeah okay. i i don't know that i personally know that they work but that's my that's my opinion i have tried them on cats yeah. definitely though um who was on my lap that is blackberry whoops Ooh. Um, is Campy the only one that uses the wheel? No, uh, Shakespeare has been liking it too. Is Feel Away used? Yes. We do use Feel Away um, quite a bit. We spray it in all the carriers before, um, before they go anywhere. Um, we have it kind of all around scattered everywhere. We have the Feel Away plugins as well. We did use one, uh, I think we tried a calming collar on Rupert, I believe it was, and I think we had tried a couple on, see, scrunchins, people that use them, they swear by it. I don't know that, um, it, to me it didn't appear to work for Rupert, but maybe I wasn't giving it a long enough time, or... Hi, Jennifer. Uh, Guten Tag, I think. Uh, this one right here is Derecho. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's true, Taz. Yeah, I haven't personally, I don't personally feel like it works although that being said on the off chance that it does I have used them in the past <laughs> you guys are fun what other questions do you have I'll try to answer them if you have them I know we did Q&A earlier today I'm just jaw jacking right now I've got a handful of meds and then we'll get out of here actually while while you guys are asking questions go ahead and pull it up Yes, it, the people swear by the plugins and feel away and all that good stuff. Aww. Hey, Blackberry. Hey, Blackberry. What doing? I just checked on Mr. Darcy. Jaw jacket. I just checked on Mr. Darcy and he is snuggled in a little bed just having a good time. I agree. Yes, Jess, that's, it doesn't hurt, but I, I don't particularly see it helping, but there's people that swear by it. Are the new babies walking now? Yes, they are. <coughs> they are all walking, although it's a very funny walk and it's, um, more like this weird wobble walk. It, you know, like their, their bellies kind of drag on the ground, but they're definitely getting up and around. Um, do we ever take Derecho outside to lay in the grass sometime when it's warm out? We have in the past, but I haven't recently. But um, I'll definitely even probably give it a shot this, this summer. So, how is Caden and Billie Jean? Billie Jean's amazing. She just bebops around here. Caden, I will say, is coming, um, he's coming around. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, he's coming around. He's getting down on the ground a little bit more. He, um, he really makes me very sad to see that, you know, it just, and, and I'm not saying this to make anybody feel bad ever. I'm really not, but he's just 
such a predominant case to show you what can happen when a cat gets returned and, and the emotional struggles that they go through. It, it's just been very enlightening to me. Um, yeah, the only thing that does is gabapentin. Um, gabapentin actually is, I, I discuss this with Lynette a lot. Gabapentin is one of those things that some people love it, some people don't. I, I don't know, I, I use it and we use it often when the need presents itself, but I personally don't feel that it's helped in some of the cases I've used. I do, you know, I feel the same way, Jenny. It really, he really breaks my heart. Um, he, he just, he breaks my heart. I have not seen a cat. Well, I can't say that. Kubu and Desi were very much similar and so was Rupert um, on being returned and the, the emotional struggles that they went through on the return. Yeah, they were they were both pretty they or they were all kind of equally as bad. So Whackberry. Hi. You're very cute. And you're very oh. Are you gonna give me purr? Oh well that's so nice. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. She's purring. Yeah, yes. Hi, Hind. Um, so what happened to Magic? Magic came in and um, he came in as a baby. His back legs were severely, severely deformed. He could barely walk. Um, he kind of like just dragged his back legs and they just kind of scooted and, and caught everything that he was dragging. And he was an in interesting case. Um, as far as um, as soon as his legs were removed, he was able to just run. I mean, he was so relieved that his legs were removed and he could actually function. There he goes. He's like, see, look how good I get around. I'm so cool. Um, so as soon as his back legs were removed, uh, he, he just hit the road running. Um, there is hope. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That Caden will adjust to his new home. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he will. I think, uh, <laughs> coffee anytime. How old is Caden? He's two and a half. Is there anything I can do? Uh, Magdalena asked, is there anything I can do to help Caden with the depression? Um, there, I believe there is. I haven't personally used, uh, um, what do you call those? Uh, depression meds. I'm sure there's a better word for that for cats, but I'm sure there's some out there. I was hoping he'd pop out of it at this time, but uh, he, he seems a little shy and scared. Um, I will be discussing that with Darcy down the road and see if there's some other thing that I can do to, to help him more than just trying to give him love and attention since that seems he still just needs a little something extra, which if anybody struggled with depression out there, you guys understand, and my heart's with you because depression is a horrible thing. So Prozac, antidepressants, thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, someone asked, how's grandpa slash Mr. Darcy? He is amazing. He is currently, we've moved him up because we had to do some cat shuffling around. Um, we've currently moved him up over here to June's room and um, have uh, taken on, he's up there and he's, he's in a nice quiet uh, room and settling in well and he's doing really good. He's got a brand new yellow banana and he loves it. So yes, Jenny, right with you. Hugs to anybody with mental illness. It is just a yucky, yucky thing and I think we've all been there. If so if you are watching and have mental illness or depression problems, we are with you and we love you. And you're doing awesome. Is Caden, Caden eating good and does he interact with any one person? Um, Kim, uh, oh, you guys are nice. Um, 
he Bobby he's eating okay um he, he interacts a little bit with Kim um and a little bit with uh uh Raven but he's mostly up high and um we're trying to get him work working on that so um his, his eating is okay I I think I can say that um you know we are working on the eating issue I think he's just he's pretty sad you know and and some some of us you know when we get sad we don't want to eat not this girl when I get sad I eat when I'm happy I eat would Mr. Darcy and Cecilia get along that is a great question I am not sure on that um they're both kind of um grumpy old people but I do have the hopes that they will get along well yeah well I was I was the only one here so we'll we'll see how that goes how did Darcy's visit go um it, it went really well um I do yes <laughs> you guys are wonderful um his his uh, appointment went very well and um, they, they did some blood work for him and overall checks there he does have arthritis so we're gonna I'm gonna have a full a more full discussion with Darcy later tonight um, on on what what came of his his blood work and things like that if she knows yet Um, did his owner tell you what food he liked? No, he, she did not. You know, Bobby, that's actually um, a really great question as far as Caden being in a home. That is something I am uh, trying to work on. So I, I wish there was an opportunity for Caden to have some one-on-one -on -one time. I will say Caden does not like children. Um, and I hate to say this and sound terrible, but his previous owner was, um, a little woman. So if there is any older women out there that wants to adopt Caden or even foster him for a short time, please contact me because he does like, he fell in love with Beth. And I think it's just a little bit, not that Beth is old. She's very young. Mature. <laughs> mature. <laughs> mature. <laughs> Beth, I hope you're not watching and I love you. Back there um, AC, he so. needs a senior kitty home. Yeah. Egypt. Do we have fosters? We have one yeah. foster. And, and then the chair, Susan so asked up a little bit ago. Oh, thank you, Nance. He was just laying I appreciate that. Um, Spiker's story would so probably be best to be in red um, on that link, actually, that Nance no. posted. No. He came in, uh, golly. I think. When did Spiker come in? I can't remember. Yeah, there's a ton of kitty stories on that link, especially of all a lot of our residences and things like that. Barb, do you want me to get him? I can get him. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, Grandpa's in there. <laughs> yeah, Barb just told me. <laughs> Surprise, Eve. You know one of his favorite things, Grandpa's? He is obsessed with yellow bananas. Denise gave him one, what was it? A couple days ago. 
And I'm telling you what, he gummed that thing like you can't imagine. He just, I mean, it was a slobbery. <laughs> so. You know, if I used a counter bar, I was staying out of your way. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, any more questions? Any more comments? If not, I will get back to it and do all that stuff. So, I'm anxiously waiting for Dr. Darcy so she can give me some some updates. <laughs> Barb Ramsey's deciding now that he wants that baby cat that you gave him. He's like, you know, After alone all that time. he's like, I didn't want it then, but, but now I think I do. <sighs> um, what condition does Spiker and the others have? The wobbly walkers? Uh, it's CH, um, cerebellar hypoplasia. I hope I, I always say that wrong guys. So forgive me if I do. There is, um, if you go to our website, there is a fantastic um, explanation of it. But basically what it is, is when a mommy cat doesn't get that distemper vaccine and possibly have distemper or, or so, it can pass, possibly pass this on to, um, sorry, <laughs> on to the unborn kittens. Oh, thanks, Vera. You're wonderful. Uh, do I think Mr. Darcy's teeth only teeth bother him you mean his remaining teeth the possible four that he's got <clears throat> I don't think so and the reason why I say that is um, because I've seen dr. Darcy do surgery and remove all but two teeth so I, I did have them look at it so I'm sure she'll tell me if they probably need to removed or not I'm assuming they probably do um, but we'll, we'll see what she says. Um, oh, thank you, outside girl. Those bananas are, I mean, they are losing their mind over those bananas. They love the bananas. Fruits and veggies till birth. <laughs> um, someone asked in, oh, there it is, uh, the dot com. Uh, do we get any CH cats anymore? Yes, we do. Uh, we just, our most recent one was Wally, and he was just adopted, what, a month or two ago? He's doing wonderful, by the way. His parent, uh, his human parents just love him to, to bits. Do all the cats in a single litter get CH or just one kitty and the others okay? Taz, from my understanding, I think it's, it can just be just one cat. Yeah. It, it doesn't necessarily happen to all the cats, I, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody else knows, yeah. chime in there with that. Yeah, we're trying, Heather. We're, we're trying to give them all. Do you guys know, Farm? Maybe you would know. With CH, because um, that's passed down from the mother not having that December vaccine, do all the kitties in the litter... I don't think so either. I think it's just like, yeah, okay. All right. I was just curious on that. Oh, thanks. Well, okay. Uh, VRS. I appreciate that. For CH, it can be one kitten or all of them. You've had litters where it's only just been one. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. I guess I've never really sat down and looked, but... Mm -hmm. That makes sense for sure. I know this has been like a fun little Friday night chat. I really appreciate this guys because I feel like I don't um, do much fun outside of work. So this is my human interaction even though you guys are all on a screen. That is correct, SM. CH kitties used to very, very, very much, and, and still um, sometimes today, be <clears throat> put, uh, put down um, before it was understood better that they can live. But it is, it is hard 
you know, understanding about, you know, CH and, and the severities of it. You know, when you look at um, uh, Ramsey and Lucy, one of the reasons why they are residents here is because it does take a huge network of people to care for them, you know, because they do need potty, um, potty interactions or potty breaks and, and things like that. And they need hand fed. So, um, yeah. Is Mary going outside? If you just want to leave him out there for a little bit, Mary, okay. he'll be okay. okay. Just keep an eye if you go outside. Yeah, I won't be going outside. Little, little turkey. Um, I was being nice to let Willow back in. She wanted the end. Oh, thank you, Tom. Thank you. So um, yeah. um, uh, yeah. I hope I say that. Di Kaiju. I have not heard that. Uh, um, I have, I have not seen that, so I would have to ask my vet about that for sure. Uh, if you go to our website, if you go to our website, we have a lot of uh, pictures of our cats. Do you guys all um, stimulate Ramsey and Lucy, or do you put them in a... No, they're amazing. Um, we put Lucy and Ramsey in the litter box, and they go just about every time. Oh, good night, Taz. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, um... Oh, thank you, Bobby. Thanks, Ruth. I, I truly, truly love what I do. Um, it's tiring and exhausting, but it's really rewarding because you know that you can help cats. And it, it's a hard job, though, because you never... Um, it's one of those ones where the day is never done, and you will always feel like you never do enough. Always. So that's, that's the hard, hard part of this job, I didn't quite realize. Thank you, Viras. So, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Case Mom. You guys are, are wonderful. Thank you, Bobby. I really do. I really do love it. It's tiring, but it's exciting and fun. It's nice to learn. No, you know, just, um, uh, Ramsey and Lucy, they are so incredibly good at using the potty that they go almost every single time they're in the box. Almost every time. They are so very good. Does Alma need help with the litter box too? No. Nope. She goes, she goes by herself and Alma's very independent to where she does not want your help. She is very independent. She, she does not want your help. Can you tell us about Ramsey? Mods, you might have to help with me on this one. Um, I don't very much remember um, uh, when Ramsey came in. Do you guys remember how he came in? are awesome he was found in a garden alone okay I yeah I, I don't remember but Ramsey's awesome Ramsey's been here um, for many many years and he he does wonderful he is he's a good boy um, he's just an awesome cat so all right yeah I can't remember Alma is very, very dependent, independent. Yeah, she, she, if you try to help her, she gets upset. She does flop around a lot. Yeah, it, it's hard to watch. And I remember the first time I've seen it, um, I was, it, it's, it's very upsetting. Um, but 
but it, it, she very much wants to <coughs> do it on her own. She really does. And I'll, I'll still help her every now and then, and so will the volunteers, but Ramsey's doesn't have health problems, right? No. No, um, Ramsey's actually, his health, I think, is pretty good. He does have the inflammatory bowel disease, which um, is, um, is, is kind of common with cats. So, but other than that, I mean, we control it. He's on meds, so he does pretty good. So, all right. Well, I'm going to get going. I have some work I have to get done and some uh, meds I have to do. And you guys are absolutely wonderful. SM. Oh, you're so right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. You guys are wonderful. I'm going to head out. Have a great night. Thanks for the chat. Oh, Spiky, too. Oh, Spiky. Oh, Spiker. Thank you, guys. Okay, Spiky. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, pal. I'm sorry, pal. I'm sorry, Dad. You know, that's Buckeye now. Oh, the my. The cat at the work. Real hard knock life, eh?